Hi everyone, welcome back to the IoT Projects Ideas. Today we have an exciting tutorial for all of you out there. If you are looking to dive into the world of one mesh interface displays, then you are in the right place. In this comprehensive guide, we'll take you through the journey of getting started with Estonia Chamai TFT LCD displays. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, these displays offer a wide range of features and possibilities for our projects. In this tutorial, we will cover everything you need to know, from connecting the display to your computer to loading programs step by step. But that's not all. We will also go through the fascinating world of the STWI070 WT01 display, understanding its product code, characteristics, and application areas. With Cortex A8 CPU, 256 MB flash, and a versatile TFT driving device, this display is a powerhouse of capabilities. Plus, we'll show you how you can interface this display with an MCU body control and RGB LED strip, adding even more functionality to your project. Alright, let's get started. First, we'll unbox the Stone HMI display and take a closer look at the components and accessories it comes with. We have got a 7-inch TFT LCD screen with an impressive resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. The front looks neat, while the back panel has necessary ports and connections. We got a USB type A mail to mail connector. This will be used for downloading the code to the display. Next, we have a UR2 RS232 PCB, which will be used for sending the UART commands to the display. It will also be used for supplying power to the display. The display can support a wide range of voltages, from 7V to 20V, but 9V to 12V is recommended. Now, let's introduce you to the star of this show. The STWI070WT01 display. This powerful display comes equipped with a processor, control program, TFT driver, flash memory, UART port, touch screen, and power supply. But what sets it apart is its ability to supply JSON code and hex code instruction sets making it compatible with any MCU for seamless control. Additionally, the built-in flash memory allows you to store your data, configuration files, images, fonts, videos, and audio files for convenient access and management. Let's decode the product code to gain a better understanding of its component. The code just indicates the company, Stone. And W signifies that this is the third version of the product. The I company denotes the industrial type, suitable for robust applications. The 070 tells us it's a 7-inch TFT panel with a wide voltage range. The T indicates a resistive touch screen for precise touch input and the 0 represents the RS232 interface. The STWI070WT01 display fires extensive applications across variable industrial fields, including medical equipment, engineering machinery, electronic instruments, industrial control system, and more. Its adaptability makes it a valuable asset in IoT applications. Now, for the connection, we will connect the cable to the USB to UART module. You can also use a 2LV DC adapter for powering off this display. But make sure the connection is set towards the port and not the USB. I am using USB for this demo. This USB can be used to send the UART commands to the display. Therefore, I am leaving the USB unconnected. Connect the cable to the display and make sure that the switch is set towards the device mode. 
Once you connect the adapter, the display will power on. You can also see a factory demo running on the display. At the back of the display, you can find the reset button to reset the screen. Now, let's move to the computer. You see, here it gets detected as a mass storage device. But if you connect for the first time, it will show the driver error in the device manager. So, you need to download the CS340 drivers. You can install the driver from here. Alright, let's download the software from storeitech.com. Here you can read about their products. The products are sorted based on application or size. You can also go through the manual and data sheet for your device as well. Now, let's download the software for designing UI for the display. Downloading demo project into display. Simply Delete the old default folder and copy the default folder of the demo to the assets folder. It takes some time to copy. After a successful transfer, you can press the reset button on the back of the display. The new GUI will load. You can see the display working just as expected. The display is touch resistive, so you need to press hard sometime while exploring menus. Touch resistive panel does not support multi touch It is very useful in industrial applications. Interfacing MCU board with Stone Display. Now we will interface Stone Demo MCU board to the display and control WS281 to RGB LED strip. First, we will attach an 8 pin UART connector, one end to the MCU demo board and the other end to the HMI display. Attach the VCC, data input, and GND pins of the WS281 to LED strip to the respective pin on the MCU board. Provide a 12 volt DC power supply to the demo MCU board. Now we are all set. You can click on LED demo menu on the LCD main screen. For a better experience, you can use a stylus pen. You can also use an Arduino board instead of a demo MCU board. The demo MCU board is preloaded with the program code. But in the Arduino board, you need to upload the following program code using Arduino IDE. Additionally, you will also need RS232 to TTL converter module for serial communication with display. After completing circuit assembly and uploading program code, you can test this demo project. Provide the 2 volt DC power supply to the MCU board and you can control the LED strip through buttons on the LCD. You can also control brightness and color contrast using the simple demo GUI. In conclusion, we have explored the various aspects of the display from its hardware components to its functionalities. We successfully connected the display to a PCB, enabling us to upload and run a demo program effortlessly. Moreover, we took it a step further by controlling an RGB LED strip with the help of our demo MCU board and the display, showcasing its versatility and compatibility with different devices. We are excited to take full advantage of this Stone Designer software and create our own graphical user interface. We can't wait to see the amazing projects that will come to life with this Stone HMI TFT LCD display. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials on the IoT projects ideas.